Hey guys, welcome back to Express Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about a module called X Notifications. It's going to give us a lot of control over what our notifications can or cannot do. Let's check it out. The module we're going to be looking at today is called X Notifications. You can directly download and install it from the Play Store or directly from the repository. Go under the download module section, download the module itself, and then make sure you check the box and restart the device. And once you're done with that, you're pretty much set. It is compatible with Android Marshmallow, which is what we're running it on this one. This is the Nexus 6P. Open it up, we'll go in. Um, I've already created one rule in here and just also kind of a quick heads up. Uh, there is a 10 day free trial of the full version, which means for the first 10 days after you install this for the first time, you'll have the full functionality of the application itself. If you do want to support the developer, you will be instructed to upgrade to Pro, otherwise you'll be basically downgraded to the free version that is not. Well, and I'll show you guys in the settings. If we go under the settings tab right here, uh, you'll see anything that is pro related, which will be disabled afterward, um, is under here. And there's another section here. Um, just real quick here. Obviously, we want to enable the mod itself. Yeah, make sure you check it in the box. And then this is the other place you can turn it off if you need to. Do uh, you have all of obviously it gives you access to all notification clearability, which means you can clear any notification that's in the panel. Um, all notifications are expandable. You can have it set that you basically are able to make, make sure that every notification expanded. I don't like that part, so I disabled it. It is on by default. Uh, notification context menu options. Uh, essentially, is this is the option if you, let's say we'll bring it down here. If I press and hold, it brings up this extra menu now as opposed to just basically where we normally used to get it. If we'll press and hold in Lollipop or in Marshmallow, you just get this option, which is the system notification action. Uh, this now gives us the ability to clear, uh, create a rule, snooze, hide, notification, and system setting. And the snooze also really works like a, sis, uh, like a snooze. Oh, here's Samsung that just came in. We'll press and hold on Samsung here. Uh, I'm able to snooze it, and if I say snooze, it gives it the ability to get, you know, I just snooze it for an hour or whatever. Really nice if you just don't want to deal with the notification at this time, but you want it to come back later. Uh, and then you can go from there. And then uh, the pro version here, which is notification um, icons, you can basically modify them. You can go in here and add different options. Again, this is part of the pro version. If you want to upgrade to that, you can go heads up notification, swipe up timeout, uh, heads up opacity, as well as um, heads up sc uh, scoop. Uh, includes all application right now. We don't have to, but you can actually basically say you want all application, excluded application. If you want to do that, then you go under the options here and then set the parameters within there. Of course, there's quiet hours. You can turn those on. These functionalities, the community ability are just disabling notifications. Some ROMs have that functionality, but this is nice if you don't, you can install it and it'll work very nicely. Uh, specific application mod, uh, this is basically if you're for WhatsApp, if you have that, I don't have it personally on my device, so it doesn't work for me. Uh, but Hangout um, notification integration, it also has the ability to mark red uh, directly from the Hangout. And then you can set up translations, you can go in here, there's different options, you can basically go in and set up the rules and quick replies. Uh, the last thing here, you can back up and restore, and then of course uh, mod compatibility. It kind of tests its own self-test to see if it's compatible with the ROM that you have it installed on. Um, and it gives, gives you the answers right away. So obviously we, we meet all the requirements of what the mod can actually do on this device. I am running almost a pure version of Android. This is not a CM based ROM, so this is a pure version of what Android uh, M was released on with a few modifications directly from the Pure Nexus uh, team. Uh, other than that, it's pretty simple. You can actually add a, a rule directly from uh, here. You can basically specify the name, different applications. You can go in and add whichever application you'd like it to be able to modify or, or do things to the notification option. And of course, you have the ability of, of setting it up here. One of the main benefits for me here is obviously you can here uh, put it into this list and if you're done with it, uh, pressing and holding gives you the option to basically delete it, which is what we'll do here. And the other option here is the ability for it to read it through your previous notifications. So you say plus, shows all the applications that recently posted a notification and you can go through and open up each one of them and basically set it up. An example would be for the calendar, it's telling me that I'm supposed to do this video, the Expose mod for Expose Tuesday. So. I can select it and it'll populate it directly into this, uh, into a rule setting for me and I can go ahead and customize it. And if I'm done, I'll just say the arrow back, it adds it as a rule and I'm able to customize them. Very nice, very simple. As you guys saw, the installation is pretty simple. You can either get it from the Google Play Store or you can get it directly from the repo. Either way, you have a 10 day free trial of the full version. And after the 10 days, you basically downgrade it to the you know free version. 
Uh, if you like the application, please definitely support the developer himself. Uh, one thing I want to make sure that you guys are aware of, this is an augmentation of the functionalities that you get in most ROMs. And I say this because most ROMs don't give you the same functionality. They don't give you the ability to snooze it. You can dismiss it, put it back into the notification panel, but having something come back in a half hour, kind of like an alarm almost, is something very functional, especially for things that you don't want to forget. Because when it comes back in, it comes back in as a new notification popping up to the front, which is something that you'd want to have when you've put something away. You want it to come back and get your attention. So customization, setting up rules, you can customize it down to the app level, you can customize it down to even to the subject level of an email if you're within an email. So from a specific sender, you can go in there and put that in the title so that it reads it whenever and if you want to basically say, I don't want to see notifications from anything that's coming from this bulk sender or something to that effect. Um, or even maybe a group uh, update, you can disable these things. Uh, very nice, very functional. Again, compatible with Android M. Um, I've tested it as you guys, you guys saw with the Nexus 6. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll give you guys a link to the actual uh, forum here on XDA and you'll be able to check it out. Like and subscribe to this channel and we'll see you guys next Tuesday.